Markkinen. And it's Allen in at the five, roaming the paint. And these are two young teams, rare for youth to be served in this league. But, Grant, you didn't seem to have any trouble back in your day, partner. Well, B.A., you know, I played four years at Duke, so I came in right away ready to contribute. And that's right. I was fortunate enough to make the All-Star team in my rookie season, too. So I came in ready. Now here's Sexton. Back to Allen. Shoots over Levine. Allen can't get it to go. DeRozan outside. Over a Coro. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Cleveland ball. Sexton with it. Pass to Akuro. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. What tremendous control from Isaac Okoro. His coaches encourage him to attack through contact. Well, Doris, you have to think Isaac Okoro is on track to become a standout player in the NBA. Well, there's no doubt that this guy has all the physical tools. He has shown promising defensive awareness, and this guy is always working so hard on the floor. Just four to shoot. The baseline J is on the way. It's rebounded by Cleveland. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. That shot off the mark. Vucevic with some nice D. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Ball against Garland. Kicks it to DeRozan. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. And Vucevic slams it in. And that's a case where DeMar DeRozan's teammates benefiting from him being a willing distributor. This is a very team first guy. Now here's Sexton. Driving to the basket. Sweet little floater. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Garland against Ball. It's DeRozan with a drive. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. I think I can make the case that DeMar DeRozan finishes through contact like a big man. This guy is tremendous at end one opportunities. So now they lead by one. And defying the analytics trend, DeRozan's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried to stretch him out with uneven results. Maybe better to surround him with three-point shooters, create space in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. Sexton, that's good. This young man loves to play through contact and certainly has the frame to absorb it. Go ahead, young Sexton. Outside Levine. Such a big-time athlete. Levine makes the hardest moves look easy. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Oh, it's blocked by Levine. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Pass to DeRozan. Here's Vucevic. Soft touch off the glass. Vucevic has got his second basket. Well, Nikola Vucevic can score against excellent defense. That is a good finish in close. Here's Okoro, defended by DeRozan. Outside for Sexton. Garland, the pass to Markkinen. 
back to Garland. And another shot. And he can't get that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Ball outside. Pass to Vucevic. They double-team Vucevic. There's ball with a three. Kept alive. Vucevic's shot is off. The Cavs trailing. Here's a Kuro. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Takes a 13-footer. That one a little long. Garland against Ball. Garland, the pass to Sexton. Here's Okoro. Outside Garland. Pass to Sexton. And he drives in. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Sexton's got six. How about that? Finishes through the bump. Sexton attacking the hoop. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Cavaliers ahead, up one. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. going again here in the second quarter fairly close game so far and a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Cavaliers <laughs> some great drives to the bucket for them tonight well they've established their presence in the paint tonight also and a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far so it's Chicago now they trail by one. And for Chicago, let's take a look. They've got Alex Caruso, Tony Bradley out there with Derrick Jones. Then it's Kobe White, and it's Brown in at the three. Now here's White. Over Love. White. Good. Kobe White. White's gotten his first basket of the night. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, Zach Levine with his first All-Star selection in 2021, and then the Bulls added a second All-Star, Nikola Vucevic, at the trade deadline. Levine said, we got another big-time player here. Guys, with this combination, they have a chance to be special. Well, they're putting some pieces together, Ali. Thanks for that. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Free throw good from Sexton. Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are carrying fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain Troy players Ball, who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. But then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters, who can space the floor for their ball club. Here's Love. The Bulls making their last shot. Pass to Windler. Clock at six. Shoots over Brown. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. White, the pass to Brown. Pass to Caruso. That's tipped. It's stolen by Rubio. Fast break, Cleveland. Here's Sexton. 
Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by White. For Chicago, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. And Kobe White on the offensive end. Man, he is so good at changing his pace. And he's gotten better and better since entering the league. He keeps the defenders guessing. And has a great sense of timing of when to hit the gas. Now here's Rubio. Tightly guarded. Sexton against White. And a two-handed jam! You can see the explosive athleticism that caught the eye of NBA scouts. Sexton with the dunk. Now here's Brown. Poke loose. Rubio with the rebound. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. In transition. Here's Caruso. Nice start for him. Oh, Sinking his first shot. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking. He's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Now here's Sexton. He's got 11. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Well, you got to miss sometimes, Two but minutes. that one Three seemed minutes. like a gimme. Right side, Jones. The shot won't fall. Well, Cleveland's shooting around 41%. Outside, Sexton. Driving in. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And there's the lob. It's deflected. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And it's always fun to see a defensive powerhouse like Evan Mobley. He savors any chance he gets to affect the shot or totally shut down an opponent. checked in for Love. Marketing comes in for Windler. Okoro is checked in for Sexton. And Garland is subbed in for Rubio. Now here's Ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Right side Levine. Counted. And the Bulls lead by two. Zach Levine working that mid-range game. So easy, so fluid. Here's Okoro. Covered by Vucevic. Okoro, no good. The Bulls have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. To the paint. With his first shot attempt. Williams misses. For Cleveland, they've gotten only 3 of 9 attempts to fall in the second. Williams against Markinen. Three-pointer. Ball with the rebound. So it's Chicago now. Inside. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Shooting for Chicago. Patrick Williams. Shooting one.
Garland. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. The three from Okoro. The shot no good. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Bulls out in front. They lead by five. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Billy Donovan here with us now and coach your team finishing the first half in impressive fashion. What's working for you out there? Yeah, well, I think we got some stops. We play good defense, allow us to get out uh, in transition. That was helpful. So uh, just got to keep grinding away. Defense has been their anchor so far. We'll see if they can keep it up, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. Some good action during the period as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They're playing for each other right now. Selfless basketball translating into a five-point lead now after trailing initially. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? The bench unit was an essential part of this puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. Looking at Cleveland, Jack, your thoughts? Well, it's as simple as their offense isn't working. The complicated part is figuring out exactly what's wrong. Was it the play calling, the execution? I think they need to dedicate themselves to running the offense more efficiently. <laughs> And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Wow, Colin Sexton displaying all his skills today. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Sexton and Okuro, they're the wings. Lori Markkinen out there with Jared Allen. And it's Garland in at the point. That's J.B. Bickerstaff's five as we get going in the second half. Boy, hard to keep up with the quickness of Zach Levine. You get that first step off the drive, and it's over. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Now here's Garland. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Allen, the pass to Garland. Six on the shot clock. Doesn't go that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. Chicago leading. Guys, you know this. Expectations for Darius Garland were high after he was taken with that fifth pick in 2019. He's made some big-time strides. He continues to improve his game. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. It's good. Sexton's got 15 points. Well, just quick with the decision-making, smart pass by Darius Garland. And Doris, an interesting note about Garland. The first player born in the 2000s to make the league. Okay, stop. <laughs> now you're making me feel old. It's true. A new generation is coming in, and I'll tell you what, the league is in spectacular hands. Second chance shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. Markadon's got his first two points. Some real toughness from Markinen. Powers through the contact, then has the focus and touch to finish. Here's Ball. And he banks in the layup. The ball. And the Bulls lead by seven. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Garland. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. 
Here's Sexton. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You can see right there the strength Colin Sexton brings to the point guard position. Plays right through that contact for the end one. Love is checked in for the Cavs. Rubio comes in for Garland. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Bradley, he's checked in for Nikola Vucevic. Jones comes in for Williams. White, he's checked in for Levine. And it's Caruso in for ball. A free throw good from Sexton. Boy, it is hard not to love the absolute high energy level Colin Sexton plays with. He's relentless. He stays active whether he's on or off the ball. For Cleveland, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And out of bounds, the Bulls will take it. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Windler's checked in. Dylan Windler. Chicago shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. And that high-energy play from Sexton. Door is something you also see on the defensive end. This guy wants to harass anybody who's trying to handle the basketball. He wants to outwork you. He wants to make the most of any chance he gets to get an impact on the basketball game. Here's Okoro. Pass to Allen. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. You like Allen to keep his concentration. Refuses to let the defense out-muscle or outwork him. Now here's White. DeRozan outside. 149 left in the third quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. DeRozan's got five points. Well, DeMar DeRozan excels at finding space to score from the mid-range. Whether it's coming off a screen or if he has to, breaking down a defender, he'll get to that spot. And it's love missing. For Chicago, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to DeRozan. A minute nine left in the third. The turnaround jumper. That one's wide left. The Cavs trailing. Outside Rubio. To the inside. Allen. That's in there. Rubio with the assist. Allen's gotten four this quarter. Boy, that's a little bit of toughness and concentration. Jared Allen under duress of the defense. Nicely done. And here is DeRozan. Five points in the game. Shot from 12. Again, the miss by DeRozan. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Here's Caruso, covered by Rubio. Here's Caruso. Outside White. And the three off target. It's a tie game in Cleveland. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. It's the fourth quarter. 
And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And so in the game for the Bulls, we've got Kobe White, Patrick Williams out there with Zach Levine. Then it's Ball, and it's Vucevic in at the five. Now here's Sexton. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. All by himself. Offensive rebound. Vucevic gets the bucket. Nikola Vucevic has averaged double-digit rebounds for the vast majority of his career. You want him to get to work on the offensive end? No problem. Here's Mobley. Sexton with it. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. You know, it's easy to say, but this is one guy you don't want to foul. Colin Sexton is an excellent free throw shooter. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Bulls. Their mid-range shooting has been tremendous all game, guys. There hasn't been a drop-off at all. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. And he knocks down the first one. When thinking about Colin Sexton, the first thing that comes to mind is his burst. I mean, his acceleration is just tremendous. He can go from 0 to 60 like a race car. Brown, he's checked in for Chicago. All right, both free throws good from Sexton. You know, Grant, with Sexton, it's not just that he has speed. He actually knows how to use that speed as a weapon. Yeah, he really does. I mean, defenders have to play out on him because of his three-point ability. So he'll wait to catch them flat-footed, then use his burst to blow by the ball, getting into the teeth of the defense and making plays. This is when you need a defensive presence, but it's just not happening. It seems to be a lack of effort and a lack of communication, and it's happening to both sides here late in the game. Pass to Mobley. Sexton against Levine. They get it back. Mobley. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. And you can tell by how hard he battled for that putback that he still has a lot of energy left for the end of this game. And doing that kind of dirty work down low makes a huge difference in a game this close. What a play on the offensive glass. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. DeMar DeRozan's checked in for Brown. Substitution. DeMar DeRozan. On the wing, Levine. Checked by Sexton. Six to shoot. Step back shot. Again, the full score. Length, athleticism, the ability to work in the painted area. So important to Zach Levine. Pass to Mobley. Here's Sexton. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Williams. Down low. And Williams punches it home. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Sexton against Levine. Outside Sexton. Pass to Markkinen. Lays it up and banks it in. Sexton is a point guard. It is his job to share the wealth, and he does there. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And here's Levine. DeRozan outside. Vucevic in the post. Shot clock at five. Takes one from ten feet. And the basket by DeRozan. And the Bulls lead by four. My goodness, you could tell DeMar DeRozan demanded the basketball. He wanted the chance to be the deciding factor. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. Zach Levine with a strong contribution so far in this one. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout.
a look at the New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Hey, team, I was able to catch the message that J.B. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. He went after his players about their four defense in the paint, saying, quote, you're showing no fight down there. You're letting them get any shot they want, and they're feasting on us. Show some toughness and push back, guys. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. And the power finished by Vucevic. Wow, Vucevic with the big-time delivery. The Montenegrin says, that's my shot. Sexton goes in, and there's the whistle. They'll pin that one on Nikola Vucevic. That's foul number two for him. Markkinen's checked in for the Cavaliers. Coming on to the floor for your Cavaliers, Lowry Markkinen. Three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Levine against Sexton. Shot clock at six. And he comes up with a bucket. Sexton's got 11 points here in the second half. Well, Sexton might be young, but he is unafraid and unabashed. What a play. Levine against Sexton. Kicks it to DeRozan. Nice D from Allen. The Cavaliers have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Pass to Markkinen. Here's Sexton. Here's Allen. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. And the second of two is good. And that narrows the gap to one. And I think we'll see him milk the clock a bit. Yeah, seems like the heady move right now. Inside. Here's Vucevic. Not going to go that time. And Cleveland will come the other way. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Sexton against DeRozan. To take the lead. It falls. It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Chicago. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Timeout called. The Bulls. All right. They trail by one. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. seconds left to play in the fourth. Ball outside. To the paint. With the 
fade away. Oh, he missed it! And so the big win by Cleveland in a tight game. What a performance they had here at home today. <laughs> I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Well, tonight, Colin, what a game for you. When you think about your development as a player, what do you